everyone so I am here to talk to you guys about college my college experience and the fact that I changed majors if I regret it or not maybe some of you guys clicked on here because you're not sure if you should change your major or if it was the right decision or maybe you just want to hear my story if you're curious I don't know <laughs> so first thing to know is that I live in Quebec so if you are in the United States or maybe even somewhere else in Canada or whatever country, the school system works differently. So you finish high school or secondary school when you are 16 to 17. So you don't have that senior year that they have in the US. You graduate at 16 or 17, depending if your birthday is in the summer or not. So I graduated at 16. And then before you go to university, if you want to go to university, you have to go through this thing called pre-college. It's called CISHEP. And basically it is two years. So you have, you know, you don't have that extra year in high school and you don't have that extra year in university. So that is where the two year gap fills in. So it's still the same amount of years, but it's just built differently so you don't have to do that extra year of high school and you can just do sajab if you want then you can go to university so it really depends on what you want to do for example if you're say in nursing you only do three years there and you don't have to go to university so it really depends on what job you want to do so when i was in secondary school or high school it was obviously time for me to start thinking about what i would want to do at sajab back pre-college and I was not sure. Not in the sense that I was not sure at all. I know a lot of people were just like, oh my gosh, what am I going to choose? I don't know. It's so overwhelming. For me, it wasn't like that. I knew what I wanted to do, but I didn't really know at the same time. So ever since I was young, I have wanted to make a change in the world. That was really important to me. I really wanted to be able to make a big change. When I was little, I I was gonna end poverty or something like that which was really stupid but that was really my idea my parents did not implant this into my head or anything like that it was just it came for me and that was always kind of a part of my identity I really thought I was gonna do that and obviously as I got older and read nonfiction books and understood that I cannot end poverty <laughs> probably um i cannot end world hunger but i can make a big difference in the world and create social programs to help make that happen if that's something that i want to do but uh, i think this was a very embedded idea into me that i just i wanted to continue it and i was like okay well i will probably get to that i really want to pursue this i'm sure i can do something to make a difference in the world it's always been very important to me it still is so one of my options was definitely to go in social science because things like psychology and sociology and all of that really interested me and it's the kind of path you want to go on to later at university go into that kind of thing so for me in university that would be an international development program where I can start and make that change, sort of like political science, that sort of thing. So to me that was definitely some of my options, going into social science and then deciding to go into international development or psychology because that really interested me as well. I was like if I can't do a big change I can do change individually with people through being a psychiatrist. So one of my pre-college program ideas was social science. But then, you know, as I grew up, you know, this is before I even started thinking about what I was going to do in pre-college. As I grew up, I realized that I really loved film. It was very, very, it was a great passion of mine. I had always been a very artistic person as a kid and it didn't have to do with film when I was a kid, but I always loved dressing up in my little costumes. It was always like a really cool thing and I did have this little YouTube channel when I was little where I would do unboxing of like my dolls. 
obviously I have like two subscribers but it's really fun for me to do that so that whole performing in front of the camera thing has always been a thing for me I was not a child actor at all I was not in theater anything like that but it was also a really big dream of mine and during COVID I started auditioning online for some voice acting roles and I got a few I was always auditioning pretty much every day basically I started this YouTube channel and it was well it is for these projects I had in mind so I've always kind of been a writer I wrote these really fun scripts that I wanted to portray on screen and I went on cast and call club I hired some voice actors I hired some animators mostly people who just do still pictures and we made these really nice animated shows and I still do that on that channel because it's very important to me it's a way to get through my storytelling and be able to tell them so I've had that channel since 2020 and I have more subscribers on there I have about 8,000 I'm close to 9,000 I'm pretty sure and I love doing that I'm still into that and so I told myself why not get into film right there is a film program in that pre-college where I go so I was like okay well film is a really good option I was like I can actually turn this into my work make real films all of that and that was a really exciting idea to me so then I had social science as an option and I had that film program as an option and then the third option that I really wanted to explore was being in the theater program which is an acting program sort of like the film program but for actors and that was something I was really considering as well because I am an actor and I was just a voice actor at that point but I I only got into real acting recently and I did start taking acting classes when I was 15 or was I 14 I was 14 almost 15 those were my three options and I did not know which one to choose I did not know at all I was so confused I was so scared I was thinking about it every single day for like two years time so I knew what I wanted to do I just wasn't sure which one I wanted to do because I was like these are two parts of me and which one am I going to choose how am I supposed to choose between these I don't know am I just trying to live my childhood dream and suppressing my real dream of wanting to be in the arts what was this why couldn't I choose what was happening that's what was going through my head and I was talking to my mom about it constantly uh how old was I at that point I was I was 15 I was 15 when I started thinking about this I was in sec four so I was basically it was the year before the year I graduated so basically it was 10th grade and then the year I graduated is 11th grade so yeah I was in 10th grade when I started thinking about that I was talking to my mom about it constantly at yeah 15 and at some point she got really tired of me <laughs> she was like I don't know which one you should choose you know and every time I had a new reflection I came and talked to her about it and I was like oh well what if this what if this maybe I want to do social science now because I just thought of this and I just read that and actually no I think I'm gonna want to do film because I just saw that and it was really cool and maybe I'm gonna want to do theater I love my theater class you know I also had my YouTube on the side which I loved this YouTube I think I started during the time I was at I had started pre-college I think the farther I've gone along the farther I've been considering YouTube as a full-time job I I don't know what's gonna happen but that wasn't really a consideration I had back then so anyway my mom was kind of getting sick of me she was like I don't know what you should choose you're the one who has to reflect on this and I think a big part of me ever since I was a kid really cared about what my mom thinks of me always kind of been embedded into me that my self-worth comes from what my parents think of me and what I'm achieving and 
how good that is to them and my parents weren't aren't very pressuring my mom just always wanted me to do good in school but she was just like do what you can you don't have to get the perfect grade as long as you did everything you could to get the best grade you could then that's that's good but I knew that both my parents were extremely academically gifted and I heard that about me a lot like oh you're so great so it's obviously something that I didn't want to give up when I was older so I did want to do something intellectual that would make them proud but I was like at the same time mm, I want to do my own thing so it was really hard for me to have all of this in my head thinking about this especially when my mom at some point was like you know what I don't care just use whatever you want because I cannot hear you talk about this anymore that did that did kind of hurt me but then again my mom has never really been someone I could talk to I never I never felt like she was someone I could talk to. It's not that she didn't try, but I never ever felt heard by her. I feel like every time I did try to talk to her, she would just kind of shut me out, be like, oh, you think I'm a bad mom for this? Whatever. I'm not trying to shame my mom. She's a great mom. Um, but I never felt like I could talk to her. So I didn't feel like I had any support in my reflection uh, onto what I wanted to do which was really hard because I had based my opinions on her about what she thought of me for a while. So I was like, what if I disappoint her with my choice? That's just one of the reasons why the decision was really hard for me. So what I ended up deciding is I'm going to go into film because it's probably what I love the most. It's going to be great. And I still wasn't sure, but I was like, you know what? I have to choose something. So let's just choose that. So when I got into pre-college, I was really happy to be there and I love pre-college so much more than high school. So much more. I I didn't hate high school, but it was yeah. Especially since like 2 years were in covid, like it was it was not good. It was not good. But I was really really happy to be there and I had two friends going there obviously not in the same programs as me I had one in natural science which is just the most difficult program I do not understand her but she loves it so props to her and then I had my friend Jasmine going into social science and she told me that she was doing it in a three-year time so usually it's two years but she had to do it in three years so she could have her classes spaced out more which makes sense honestly anyway when i got to you know start my classes get the teachers all of that i was like this is a million times better than high school the classes are so much cooler i love all the people here i finally felt like i had found my people people who could be there on that level that were deep people deep thinkers i have never I had never met people on that same level that wanted to reflect as much, talk about deep things and artistic points of view. I had never met people like that before, so it was really amazing to have that kind of company surrounding me. And I was really happy to be there. However, <laughs> um, it wasn't long before I realized that I was not as much of a cinema buff as a lot of them were so they knew a lot about all films and about which one was their favorite and like those old films and all of that and they were so into all of that which I thought was so cool but I was not that so I kind of felt like there was something wrong also I hated the hands-on camera work here on YouTube I film with my phone and it's great and maybe I'll film with a camera at some point, I don't know, but I detested the camera work. I only liked the theory classes and all of that, which now that I think of makes sense because I never wanted to be a camera, like a cam, 
the camera operating person. I never wanted to be the cameraman, the camera woman. So that does make sense because what I wanted to be was a director or a creative director and directors and creative directors do not have to do that. But as, you know, to become a director, this is something you had to go through. Now, I know that not all directors have to go to school, but Quebec television, Canada television works a bit differently than the US. It's not like LA and it does help to have a degree. Is it necessary? Absolutely not, but I don't know how I would have gotten a job without a degree because like where would I have learned all that? I was not the person who would know all that without that. Yeah, so I realized I really hated the hands-on camera work to a point where I was like, I cannot do two years of this. It's going to be horrible. And that is when I made the very rushed and impulsive decision to drop my technical camera class. So I was like, I can redo this class. Like I can do it later. Obviously I was just avoiding my problem, but I did that. And I talked to my API about this, which is just not your college counselor, but your the person who directs your classes. I don't, I don't know how to describe it. I, I talked to her and she was like, well, if you are feeling this way, maybe it's not the program for you. So I was like, yeah, maybe. I love acting so much. Maybe I would prefer to be an actor and then if later I want to move on into writing scripts and getting into direction, that will be something. But I also love my work as an actor and that is something I could do. And at that point, I was considering social science a little bit as well because I've always been an intellectual person and learning about all of that, the anthropology, the sociology, the psychology, seemed very interesting to me, especially since my friend Jasmine was in there and she was telling me about it and it seemed really cool. So I was like, that sounds fun. So I was like, maybe I should change to social science. In my head, I was like, well, I'm way better with intellectual work than I am with hands-on work with like a camera and stuff. So wouldn't social sciences make more sense for me? So I was thinking about that. Now, bear in mind when I was thinking about that, I was just thinking about my grades. I wasn't thinking about how things would go further. And I think that is because of the way I was raised, like I was talking about with my mom and all of that. Once again, not blaming her, but I never really had that much of an identity apart from my grades. My mom, she, you know, she was really part of forming me as a person, but she doesn't really have any hobbies, if you know what I mean. Like she loves her work so much so that is kind of her hobby if you know what i mean compared to my dad who has his work and he's like i'm done with it for today for example and then i'm gonna go play scrabble soccer those are pretty much his two main interests except learning about cryptocurrency and investments but he has that separate life from his work and his hobbies and my mom loves her work and she's passionate about it so that kind of is her hobby and she's very invested into it all of that like she has a master's degree and she has a doctorate so yeah and i was always closer with my mom growing up so that's kind of the impression i got of that my mom always told me you're gonna love your work you're so smart and you can find that happiness throughout your work so it's not that she didn't want me to have hobbies, like not at all, but it's kind of the way I was brought up to think of things. And I think that kind of made me not have an identity outside of school. It was like, well, I like school, so I'll be really good at it. And who knows what my other hobbies were, which made me kind of lose my artistic side as I grew up as a teenager and acting was still there in the back of my mind and of course I started at 15 because I was like I want to do something else I want to be creative but school was still my priority I don't know why but it was probably because my mom's opinion mattered a lot to me when I was that age I had a hard time knowing that and I was like well maybe I should go into social sciences and I can 
make my dream come true of being at the service of others, helping others. So what I decided is next semester I'm going to take a social sciences class and I'm going to take a theater class and I'm going to decide which one I want to pick. And I tried both. I really, really liked both. My social sciences class was a sociology class, which was great. I think it is the class I have gotten the highest grade in in all my pre-college. I think it is. I had like an amazing grade, like better than I ever had. So that had never happened. I thought it was really cool. And my theater class was great as well. I loved it very much and as I always feel when I'm acting, I time just flies by, it's the best part of my life. You guys know I'm a very expressive person. Right now I'm just, if you've never been on my channel before, I seem like a very calm presence, but I'm, I mean, I can be when I have to be serious, which I am now, but in life I'm a very expressive person. I've, yeah. I mean, I tried both and I was like, I don't know which one to choose, but then I was like, no, I'm going to choose social science because, because I have to. I'm good at school, I'm going to get better grades in social science. Just check out the grade I got, it was so amazing, I was like, I'm going to get better grades in social science and maybe I should just leave acting aside, it is just a little stupid fever dream and that's it. That is when I switched to social science and I have been in social science ever since then. It is... I've had three semesters in social science and I have... Wait, have I? No, I've had two semesters in social science and I will have two more. And then I'm going to be graduating. Not this year, but like in 2025. So a year from now. And I just want to say that I love social science, it's really great, and I love my classes, but I think that I lost who I was in the process. I think that with years, I did not know who I was anymore, and I lost a lot of my artistic side in compensation for school and grades to end up doing what, I don't know, probably I'm going to be able to make a really good difference in the world, which I think is very important to me as well, but I think that maybe I do regret choosing social sciences. I think that moving away from film was probably the best idea. Maybe I should have given it a longer try, but I think it was for the best. But choosing social sciences instead of theater, I think maybe was a mistake. It's something I've been reflecting on a lot, which is why I wanted to talk to you guys about it on YouTube. And I, yeah, I made that decision. It's a decision I made and I love social science and I'm happy to be in it. But in there, I don't feel like I'm with my people. In my theater class, I felt so good, like I was with everyone who understood me and understood this passion for the arts and I do not feel that way in social science. I think a lot of people don't care about anything in my social sciences program. It's annoying and I am going to go to college. I am going to get my degree probably in international development which is very important to me as I mentioned. Both sides of me are very important to me. That side and the artistic side, both of them are very important and I want to nurture and live through both. I don't know which one's going to come first. I don't know if I'm going to, you know, I'm going to do my bachelor's of course and in the meantime I'm going to be auditioning. I don't know which one's going to develop first so if I get into acting first then I'm probably going to do activism to the side. If my international development degree comes first before I get acting jobs then I will go with that and I will keep auditioning to the side. We'll see and both are very important to me. I do want to break into the acting industry. Thank you everyone for your support. As you guys know I was in my first commercial recently. It's really amazing. I'm super grateful. 
but the thing with your pre-college degree is that you can do any pre-college degree and then get into certain programs at university so what I think would have been better for me is probably to do a theater major and then at university go into international development so that I could have training in both. I have had a lot of acting classes which are wonderful but I think if I could have had that two years grasping on how to play a character and do all of that I think that would have been absolutely wonderful. So I do think I made a mistake there but do I regret it? I would say no. I do not want to have regrets in life because I think that every single action you make brings you where you have to be and who knows where I would be if I had made a different decision. I wouldn't be going to Scandinavia, I wouldn't be having these life-changing experiences, I wouldn't have met some of the people that I've met, I wouldn't have had probably uh, my boyfriend that I had from September to December last year would have that been a good thing maybe but he also taught me some lessons right uh not him but being in that relationship taught me how to set some better boundaries all of that so all of these things are really important and i'm happy that i went through all of that so i do not regret the decision i think it would have maybe been a better decision but those are not reflections i would have made in that moment in that moment I would have still done the same thing because it was what I was thinking I wasn't as mature as, as I am now I would have not made these reflections that I'm making now so I would probably be in the same situation so I just want to let you guys know that changing majors is good if you feel like you need to do not feel like you are going to I mean think about it of course but don't feel like it's bad to have to be in college longer just because you're changing or anything like that if you do your mate if you're starting your major and you decide you don't like it then that's okay and change what you want and what you like and you are growing as a person you are not necessarily the person you were before and all in all I'm happy with my decision I think that no matter what path I take I can still include both both of these in parts of my life but I think that I think that this just shows me that whatever happens nothing is going to stop me from achieving my dreams and I can have YouTube as a career I can have acting as a career I'm going to have I'm going to be doing my bachelor's it's going to be really amazing and I'm very happy and grateful on how my life is turning out and I think it's absolutely wonderful and I have no regrets maybe I should have done something differently I think maybe that would have been a better idea but I don't regret it so that is my journey with all of this I hope that this story maybe woke up something into you guys or maybe helped you reflect on some stuff maybe what you want to do just don't let anyone stop you from doing what you want to do Make sure that you only listen to yourself and not to other people, that you're not trying to please your parents or trying to just go in the same major as your friends or just trying to be someone that you're not because who you are is what's important. And at the end of the day, will you regret not doing that? If you're on your deathbed, will you say, oh gosh, I did not get the grades that I wanted I did not do what my parents wanted or will you regret hey I didn't follow my dream and now I'm about to die and I didn't follow it. I think that that's something important to reflect on. So that's it for this video. It was a lot more intense than my usual videos. I like making these sit down talks to just reflect on this, let you guys know about these parts of my journey because I think they're really important and thank you all of you. For supporting me no matter what i love all of you so much if you have any questions or you just want to talk or you're not sure about what to do with college and your major feel free to talk about it in the comments i will be answering all the comments that i can i have reflected on this a lot and i think that i can probably help you guys a lot give you some advice so if you do have questions on that i'll be happy to answer them and discuss it with you i really want to help you guys 
and if I get a lot, maybe I'll make a Q&A about it. So yeah, I hope this helped you in some way. So yeah, I'm really happy I did this. I loved sharing my journey with you guys. I hope this helped you, and I'll see you in my next video.